Hi folks, we're going to do some chapter 9 problems and let's start with number 1. Gabrielle exerts a force of 55 newtons on the end of a 74 centimeter wide door. What is the torque if the force is exerted perpendicular to the door? So I'm going to draw a top view. So here's going to be the hinge, here is going to be the door itself, and the door is 74 centimeters wide and the force is going to be applied perpendicular to the door. Now torque is defined as a force applied perpendicular to some sort of a lever arm. Typically we want to keep things in MKS units so I'm going to convert 74 centimeters into meters so the lever arm or the distance from where the force is applied until the pivot, and the pivot's going to be that hinge of that door, is going to be my point 0.74 meters. So the torque applied will be the force of 55 newtons, I forgot to write newtons there, times the perpendicular, the distance, the perpendicular distance, and that is the 0.74 meters. I'm going to grab my calculator and 55 times 0.74. I, if we keep things, we always try and keep things to three sig figs. I forgot to uh, copy down a few more zeros down here, but that's going to end up giving me a 40.7. Now when units go on torque, it's newtons times meters, so it's called a newton meter. That is a newton meter of torque. Uh, just a thing about newton meters versus joules. You may recall from energy that a newton meter is a joule. By convention in torque, we do not express those as joules. We express those as newton meters. All right, for the second half of the problem, it says this. What is the torque if the force is applied at an angle of 45 degrees to the face of the door? So let's redraw this picture. And the force, instead of being applied directly at a perpendicular angle, it is going to be applied at a 45 degree angle. I suppose I should have the force vector placed in the right direction. The lever arm is still 0.74 meters. And what we want is only the proportion of that force that is perpendicular to the door itself. So if this is 55 newtons, I have a 45 degree angle. I only want to use the portion of the force that is perpendicular to this lever arm. And in order to find that force perpendicular, this is going to be, in this case, this is going to be the opposite side, so I'm going to use sine. So the force perpendicular is going to be my 55 newtons times, in order to find this vector, times the sine of 45 degrees. And so my torque is my force perpendicular to my lever arm, which will be 55 newtons times the sine of 45 times 0.74 meters, and I'm going to put all that in the calculator. So sine of 45 times 0.74 times uh, 55, make sure I hit the right buttons here, and I end up with a torque of 28.8, and that's going to be newtons times meters, and that gives me a newton meter, and that's the answer to part B. Let's do the next problem. All right, the next one says this. The bolts on the cylinder head of an engine require tightening to a torque of 88 newton meters. So the torque is going to be 88.0 newton meters. If a wrench is 28 centimeters long, what force perpendicular to the wrench must the mechanic exert at the end? So we have got a uh, a bolt of some sort and we've got a wrench. I'm not the world's greatest wrench drawer as you can imagine. And a force is going to be applied down here. The distance between where that force is applied 
to where the actual wrench is is going to be 28 centimeters. We like to keep things in MKS units, so I'm going to go ahead and call that 0.28 meters. That's going to be my lever arm. In this case, I know my lever arm, I know my torque. We are aware of the fact that torque is force perpendicular to a lever arm, and this time I am solving for force. So to solve for force, I'm going to divide both sides by lever arm, and that's going to mean my perpendicular force will be the torque divided by the lever arm. The torque is 88 newton meters divided by the 0.28 meters. Meters will cancel meters. I will end up with the units, newtons on top. Let's go ahead and do that math. 88 divided by 0.28, and we're going to end up with 314 newtons is going to be what the perpendicularly applied force is supposed to be. All right, I think we have time to do another one. According to the manual of a certain car, the maximum torque that should be applied to a certain lug nut is 65 newton meters. So the maximum torque is 65 newton meters. If you use a wrench that is 0.33 meters long, so the length of the wrench is 0.33 meters long, and you apply this force at an angle of 75 degrees above the wrench handle, what is the maximum force that you can apply to this nut without exceeding, exceeding the recommended torque? Well, I think I'm going to need a picture to be able to see this. So here is my nut. Here is my applied torque, and the wrench itself is 0.33 meters long. The angle above is 75 degrees, and I want to know what is the maximum force that can be applied on the wrench. Now here's what I can do. At the actual nut itself, in order to determine the torque, the maximum torque, I can go ahead and say torque is perpendicular force times lever arm. I know torque, I know lever arm, I can calculate maximum, excuse me, perpendicular maximum force. Once I know perpendicular maximum force, I can then treat this like a vector triangle and this is going to be the maximum perpendicular force. Once I have that, that's going to be the perpendicular component of this triangle. This is a 75 degree angle, and I can then solve for the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and solve for maximum torque. I said maximum torque. How about maximum force? That's going to be torque divided by lever arm, 65 newton meters, divided by 0.33 meters. And let's 65 divided by 0.33. So the force perpendicular is going to be 197 newtons. That is this value. And once I put 197 newtons in that, I'm going to solve for the hypotenuse. This is the opposite side. I'm looking for the hypotenuse. That sounds very much like I'm going to want to use sine of the angle. Let's give myself a little bit of room to write. Sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse. I do a little magical algebra. Hypotenuse is going to be equivalent to opposite divided by the sine of the angle. The opposite is 197 newtons. It's a 9. Divided by the sine of 4, 75 degrees. So 197 divided by the sine of 75. And I ended up with 204 newtons, 204 newtons. And that will do for the first three problems. All right, we'll see you later.